Liverpool prepare to lock horns again. On Derby Day, Merseyside is no place for neutrals. You're either blue or red. It's a fixture steeped in the best traditions of English football. All the action in a moment, but first news of an important fixture played earlier this week. And Dix arrived from West Ham, with David Burrows and Mike Marsh going in the opposite direction in a deal worth two and a half million pounds. Dix then thrown in for his debut, and with news of other new faces and Derby debutants, your match commentator, Martin Tyler. Everton have taken the South End striker Brett Angel on a month's loan. He scored in the reserves two days ago here, and he's a substitute this afternoon. Guaranteed his first derby today, right back Paul Holmes. Matt Jackson continuing in the centre of defence. Dave Watson has been sidelined since the second game of the season after a head injury. Barry Horn, the Wales captain, regains his place in midfield on the day the Wales goalkeeper breaks the record for Everton appearances in derbies. 33 for Neville Southall this afternoon. Bruce Grobelaar also sets a new mark for Liverpool, his 34th game against Everton. Dix takes over the number three from David Burrows and the left-back slot from Stig Inga Bjernaby, who's dropped. The regular right-back, Rob Jones, is suspended. Jan Mulvey is injured. So with Steve Nichols switching to defence, there are recalls today for Jamie Redknapp and Mark Walters in midfield. Ian Rush with his own chapter in the history of these Merseyside matters. 24 goals at Everton's expense. David Ellery gets the game underway. Liverpool defending the goal to the right. Steve Nicholl at right back. And putting a ball through that had Rush chasing through in direct confrontation straight away with his good pal but regular rival in these meetings, Neville Southall. And for an instant it looked as though it was going to be a sensational start for Liverpool. And another paragraph in this amazing Ian Rush story at the expense of the club that he used to support, Everton. McManaman is down. David Ellery allowing the game to go on. Holmes. It's gone. Huge build up over the past few days. Now the opportunity for the players to express themselves with the ball at their feet or head high as it was there for Clough. And now we're getting very quickly to Andy Hinchcliffe, obviously feeling the effects of what happened earlier. He wants to make another tackle, the number 17 for Liverpool. Lofted forward by Ward and right out. He once had an opportunity ten years ago now to sign for Liverpool when he was a promising young player with Swindon. He chose Aston Villa instead then. Feeling that he'd get a quicker opportunity in the first team. Holmes looking for right out again. Bumped by Rudder. Everton fans on their feet behind the goal that their team are attacking. Ablett's come forward. Jackson as well. Ward leaves it. Hinchcliffe bends it in. Oh, terrific save by Grobola. A fantastic save from Jackson's header. Well, we said at the start, the length of service that Grobelaar has had for Liverpool in playing games against Everton. But all those years, he can't have made many better stops than that one. When Jackson touched it, you expected the ball to nestle in the net. And uh, they try again through right out. It's a goal kick. Marvellous piece of instinctive goalkeeping by Bruce Grobelaar. He'll be 36 next month. He's 
planning his next trip back to play for Zimbabwe next weekend. Ablett. That's good work between Bigger and Hinchcliffe. Hinchcliffe's cross. Ruddock misjudging. Can ride out do something here. Cotty on hand. Ride out. Everald straight at the goalkeeper. He hit it hard. But two straight. And Bruce Grobler very grateful for that. He hadn't committed himself either way. But Neil Ruddock slightly miscalculated here and nearly paid a heavy price. Only heading straight up in the air. A real scramble. Cotty on the scene quickly. That didn't get through. Everall did, but not past Grobelaar. Hinchcliffe. trying to play from deep and giving the ball away Redknapp with a weak attempt at goal but Liverpool will be pleased to go hunting in that type of area to try and get possession it's just another indication that the outside pressures don't always hold too much sway on the players in this derby the skills can shine through such a club man he's been operating for the most part on the right of midfield this season but he was originally signed as a right back as uh, the time of Phil Neal in the job came to a close in the early 80s Phil Neal now a coach for England one of the support staff for Graham Taylor Cotty Cliff drops here for Ward, tries for goal. Grobelaar's in the mood, isn't it? A fine save, though, being a flashy one. This natural showman with a very safe pair of hands. That was a committed leap by Beagrick. Keeping with the whole tone of the afternoon. Well, there's a sense of uh, injustice here about the referee's reaction that Liverpool are feeling. And Ronnie Whelan, who went in there feels that he went in for the ball David Ellery thought otherwise well there are extreme reactions on both sides then Liverpool collectively supported Whelan and the Everton players were incensed by the confrontation and John Everill is still in one piece just about was what happened it was he went for the ball perhaps but it was where his foot ended up after that it wasn't very pretty so a booking for Whelan Everett's on his feet Hinchcliffe's taken the free kick came off the head of Ruddock and then off the head of Walters for an Everton corner Hinchcliffe, as Whelan guards the post, then he will do well to do that, because Hinchcliffe can really veer the ball in with his left foot, does it with pace and swerve, but McManaman only to Mark Ward, it's in, through the crowd, like an arrow into the corner of the Liverpool net. And Grubelaar feels that McManaman, look at this, that's what it means to concede a goal in a Merseyside derby. Mark Ward has scored it. After poor defending at the corner, taken by Hinchcliffe. It wasn't really what he would have wanted. 
but McManaman just flapped at that and only succeeded in setting it up for Ward who hit it hard and true past the furious Grubbler Eighteen minutes to go to half-time. Everton 1, Liverpool 0. Well read by Jackson. Well, that's going to drop for Cotty. He takes it on himself and well held by Grovelar again. Rydout was also looking for the ball to be lined up for him. But Cotty is that single-minded type of striker. If he'd hit it any better, he might have found a gap to Grubbelaar's right then. Forward by the head of Ebrill. Whacked away by Wright. Bouncing off Clough for Ebrill again. Hinchcliffe. No offside. Tony Cotty for Everton. A chance to make it two. And Grubbelaar has defeated him. away from half time it could have really flattened Liverpool but Grubbala has been outstanding and he needed to be again the one on one with Tony Cotty but it is a corner and again it's Andy Hinchcliffe and again it's Bruce Grubbala There's an expression to sum it up from the Liverpool perspective. The manager showing the stress. McManaman, the last chance before half-time, one suspects for Liverpool. Redknapp was, I think, heading to goal. That came rather off his shoulder. Everton's half, though. The one goal from Mark Ward, sweetly struck from his point of view. Nothing sweet about the way the ball reached him, though from a mishit clearance by Steve McManaman. And Everton have really worked Bruce Grubbelaar in the first 45 minutes. Grubbelaar with an outstanding display, starting with perhaps the best save of the lot of them from Matt Jackson's early header. Room for improvement for Liverpool at half-time at Goodison Park. Everton 1, Liverpool 0. start the second half leading by a goal from one of the more locally born players in the match Mark Ward from Prescott about 15 miles away from here are they good enough now to see it through Liverpool will obviously try to redouble their efforts one of the Everton directors Bill Kenwright well-known figure in the theatrical world, impresario. A genuine Evertonian. Came here as a boy on his uncle's bike on the crossbar. Robillard's kick going straight to Holmes. Redknapp. Rush. Mark Walters on his day has the capacity to really bewilder defenders. Hasn't been his day yet. shape of horn Dix <gasps> what has trouble I done well it's turned out to be tailored for McManaman which of course it wasn't meant to be 
Whelan. McManaman actually could have turned if he'd wanted to, if he'd been told that there was room. Nickel getting the better of Pedri. And getting his cross in or trying to do that. Actually deflected by Pedri to Horn. Right out. Everton had options right and left. They still do. Ward for Pedri in so much space here. Peter Pedri for Everton. Lines it up. Just tries to overpower Grobola. And in the end, the goalkeeper not required. But Liverpool had lost Peter Bigri. And a time where they're trying to impress Graham Souness with an improvement at the start of the second half. It hasn't really panned out that way yet. Here's McManaman. Liverpool need to find something extra. Redknapp. Clough. In goes Rush. And Horn didn't connect very sweetly with the clearance. Dix does with the shot! Well, that's part of the Julian Dix repertoire. A rugged defender, but he can wheel that left foot with some power and it was a super stop by Southall to stop Dix getting a debut goal in the most dramatic of circumstances corner for Liverpool right out he's given this game absolutely everything he knows Brett Angel is on the bench and that if he is to be used it would be most likely in right out's position Rosenthal. Rush gets it down. Oh, Redknapp flicked it goalwards. Southall saved. Suddenly, it's a bit more like what Liverpool want. Neville Southall, who had a quiet first half, has been busy since the resumption. Nicole. Oh, B3. Almost embarrassing him, right. McManaman, West in no time, but it's not a great ball. Pitchcliffe. And Horn and Ward left it to each other. The crowd getting a bit edgy, the Everton supporters. 1-0 their team lead, but it's a slender lead at the moment. Dix denied by the type of tackle there that Perhaps more expected of him. And he's certainly been on his best behaviour. He's growing now in confidence as Liverpool are. Dix again. Rosenthal. Oh, it's just too high for Rush. Just too high. In the cross and in the header. Ronnie Rosenthal has made a difference already. But you can't blame Rush for putting that one over. He did very well to get up to those heights to reach the ball. Cotty from right out flick. Cotty again. Wright kept his eye on the ball and blocked the shot. Now Everton would love the comfort of a second goal here. Hinchcliffe not in a hurry. Ablett making his move by the near post. Grobola didn't get there, Ablett fires it into the top deck of the stand. Time for reflection from the goalkeeper on what might or might not have happened here. He wants to get on with the game. Rush reacting to his own flip. Now they need him to get his touch back against Everton. 
Wall. And has been the one marksman today. It's a scrap now for Everton. Redknapp. Rush. Wheeler. Ward comes back. Is that going to be a corner? Southall answers that question in the negative. the uh, pride of Merseyside until March in terms of the league games when the return of Anfield is scheduled. Brecky. Ward. His hopes. Right out. Blocked by right. Cotty. Can he get it back here? Tony Cotty. Tony Cotty still, still Cotty. The persistence pays off. And Everton now will believe that they've beaten Liverpool. Five minutes to go. Well, Dix tried to clear. And in the end, the runner couldn't get there either. Nor right. Cotty went on. Grobola lunged and plunged. And Tony Cotty kept on going for the most joyous side of his afternoon. And with five minutes left, Everton 2, Liverpool 0. A fourth defeat in five games, and that after being top of the table. Before that run started. War. Cotty. Combs outside him. Here's right out. Cotty going in. It's a corner. Liverpool so stunned by the second goal and now a number of their players hanging their heads fortunately not Ruddock for them there otherwise Cotty would have got another Ward well, Wright's missed it right out is there here's Stewart Rosenthal, whose influence is in the end going to count for nothing for Liverpool. Stewart, Ablett, no offside but no possession either for Cotty. They've been criticised Everton for having too many diminutive players in their side but two of them have scored here to give Everton their 50th league win over Liverpool Mark Ward and Tony Cotty and blue is the colour on Merseyside tonight a win that lifts them three points clear of their great rivals at the table as well four defeats in five games now for Graham Souness's side which led the league less than three weeks ago euphoria for Everton a defeat on his debut for Julian Dix. For Everton, though, the special satisfaction that success in a derby does bring. Paul Ryder played so well, typifying the Everton resolve. They played some excellent football in the first half. 
They were put on their metal in the second, but they were strong enough to survive. And Gary Ablett captains Everton to victory against his old club. Great spirit in the contest, despite a spate of bookings as well. Epitomised there by the two long-serving goalkeepers. It's finished here at Goodison Park. Everton 2, Liverpool 0.